Hey guys, it's Eric Megatech PC here with another computer video. Just wanted to kind of give you an update on what's going on with my 3960X build. Um, as you can see, it's uh, done. Um, well, you know, sort of done. Um, I haven't put the second 580 Lightning in here yet because I thought I would do a series of videos um, kind of... Uh, <clears throat> highlighting the performance gains that I see from my 3960X system um, on a Rampage 4 Extreme motherboard um, compared to my old system, which of course was a 2600K on a uh, P67 Sabertooth. So I'm going to be doing a series of benchmarks. Um, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to put you... On the screen here as you can see these are the benchmarks I'm going to be running and I'm probably going to be running some more but we've got 3D Mark 11, uh, 3D Mark Vantage, uh, Aliens vs Predator, Lo uh, Lost Planet 2, Call of Pripyat, uh, Stalker, uh, Heaven 2.5 um, and then I've also got some more CPU benches here we've got um, I'm going to use Intel Burn Test, uh, Cinebench R10 and R11.5, Frybench, um, and probably a couple more. And uh, this is a teaser, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how this is going to kind of work. Here's Cinebench 10, R10. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to. Um, I'm going to do the CPU benchmark here. Um, and let's see. We'll go ahead and start that up. And as you can see, it's using all six cores. And then I'm going to come over here. Excuse the mess of my house. It's uh, not ideal, but as you can see, I've got my Sandy Bridge 2600K P67 Sabertooth system set up over here with the other 580 Lightning that I have. And uh, these are fresh installs of Windows. Just got everything loaded. You know, basically the same benchmarks on this computer and I'm going to be running. And as you can see, I'm going to go here to Cinebench R10 and I'm going to do the same thing. And we're going to kind of see. Let's see what kind of uh, differences we can find. Um, we'll come back over to this system, which I'm sure is done uh, doing its thing, and we'll get a number. And you can look on here and see that the score is 43,141. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. There it is. 43,141 for the Cinebench R10 score. The um, multiple core, you know, using, using uh, all 12 threads. And then we'll come over here. The 2600K is done. And we'll take a look at that score. And as you can see, the 2600K did a, I want to try to get that to focus there, it's 30,937. So you're looking at quite a difference. And when I do the final videos, I'm going to have several videos where I'm going to um, put the computer side by side so you'll actually be able to see the screens and see how fast they do. Um, I'll go ahead and give you all the information real quick. The 2600K system is clocked at 4.8 gigahertz at 1.42 volts. Uh, it's got a Corsair H60 cooler. It's got a GTX 580 Lightning which is clocked to 950 megahertz. Uh, it's got 8 gigabytes of G-Skill Ripjaws RAM running at 1600 megahertz. 
I think that is pretty much all the vitals. It's got a Corsair HX750 powering everything. And the new system, I tried to keep these systems very comparable so we can see what the difference is of the platform rather than just clocking. So, of course, it's got a, another GTX 580 Lightning, which is also clocked to 950 megahertz. I'm running the Corsair H80 cooler and 16 gigabytes of quad channel Patriot RAM. Of course, the 3960X, which is also clocked to 4.8 gigahertz at 1.42 volts. Interest, interestingly enough, they both um, seem to like 1.42 volts for 4.8 gigahertz. Both um, are prime stable for a few hours. I haven't done anything like overnight or anything, but they're both plenty stable to run all the benchmarks that I have. So um, anyway, this is just a, a little teaser here, and um, I'll be coming at you with some more videos very soon. So keep checking back, and you can see we can really get an idea of how much of a performance increase you can get from going from Sandy Bridge to Sandy Bridge E.